There are a ton of tools out there that can help you do your job efficiently as an SEO specialist. Some of them are paid, but a lot of them are free. And in this section, we'll briefly outline both the free and paid tools we use throughout this course. First up are the jack of all trade tools. If you only have budget for one of these tools, I recommend one of these. SEMrush, it's as low as $99 a month. It has the largest database of keyword rankings, so it's the go-to tool for doing competitive keyword research. And over the last few years, it's added things like technical SEO audit, content audit, and link audit features. And it's really my go-to tool, regardless of what type of SEO work you're trying to do. Next is Ahrefs. It's as low as $99 a month as well. It has one of the most robust link indexes around and can show SEO link builders and strategists what kinds of links their competitors are getting, how many links are you getting a month, and it also helps you discover trending topics and who wrote these topics. It has also added recently a great keyword tracker, and it's a worthy investment if your focus is on link building to drive your campaign forward. Next, you have Google Search Council. That's the price of free. Unlike the other tools, it tells you exactly what your site is ranking for, which is super useful if your site has a lot of existing rankings rather than starting from zero. It also gives you errors. It helps you manage Google's crawl and even tells you what weird URLs Google is finding. Previously, us SEOs needed to ask engineers to help monitor Google's crawl. But with recent advances in Google Search Council, it's become a lot easier. And the best part is it's free. Next is Moz, making a comeback with their great acquisition of GetStat, a great keyword tracking tool. And with their local keyword optimization, which Ahrefs and Google Search Council don't really show you, Moz is back in the tool game. They also recently reported that they now have the largest index, and they also have the best training material out there um, if you check out their Whiteboard Friday series. So if local SEO is important to your client, and you have only one tool that you can buy in your budget, I think Moz is a winner. Then there's the tools that are primarily used for SEO analysis. So those tools are Screaming Frog, Deep Crawl, and Sitebulb. They crawl the website looking for technical problems and are very useful for uncovering duplicate content, broken pages, the kind of stuff that doesn't really show up in Search Council. You also have SEO Radar and Content King for getting timely alerts. Essentially, the moment something breaks or title tag changes, which happens a lot when you have many people working on a website, you get an alert. This is very useful because up until recently, Google Search Council didn't give you alerts. It would be delayed for several days. And finally, there's Lighthouse and GT Metrics. These tools are essentially free and give recommendations on how to optimize your page speed so users can more quickly access your site. The next set of tools are tools that are used for content purposes and keyword ranking tools. In this course, we're going to glance over Yoast, Sitebulb, and SEMrush for content optimization, but the other two tools we should mention if you have the budget are ClearScope, it's a tool that makes it very easy to discover the other keywords you should add to your content. They give you a certain number of keyword reports each month and really help you optimize your pages. They also give you insight on what your competitors are creating. Then there's URL Profiler, a little known tool made by the same team that makes Sitebulb. It allows you to plug in a list of URLs and get stats like how many words or how many paragraphs are on the, your competitor's pages. It also tells you reading difficulty and time to read estimates. It's a great tool for planning large content projects, and I simply can't live without it. Most of the features, though, I should mention, are in Sitebulb. So if you only had budget to buy one of them, I would recommend buying Sitebulb. Next up are the link building only tools, primarily used by link builders. Majestic SEO is another alternative to Ahrefs and Moz. They have a great link velocity chart that helps you visualize how quickly your competitors are acquiring links compared to your own domain. Then you also have Ninja Outreach, Pitch Deck, and Hunter IO. These tools are great for prospecting for link building opportunities. When you're looking to find the contact information of who of web publishers, go to these tools and they'll help you not only find the contact information, but also do the outreach at scale. 
Then there's also outreach CRMs like HubSpot, which help you track the relationships and do a better job responding to people when they are ready to do outreach. And finally, there's reporting tools like Google Analytics, Data Studio, and I'm throwing Asana in here as well. Google Analytics and Data Studio are very straightforward and are free. They even sync with Google Search Console to show you link growth. Then there's Asana, which is a great project management tool. Again, can't be understated how important it is to report on your progress, not just the results of your campaign, because it often takes many months to execute an SEO campaign and your stakeholders will be wondering, what are you doing? So Asana is a great way with their timeline and their calendar to show when things will be executed for your campaign.